Okay, today I'm going to do the RV test with ICBC and there is the pre-test to show your knowledge of the vehicle and that has to all happen in 30 minutes. So here we go, start the timer. So first off, got the truck open, hood open. I'm looking underneath to see any if there's any oils or leakage of any fluids. I'm going to look and secure, make sure the license plate is secure. I'm going to jump into the area here. Is there any leakage or oils anywhere as I can see? There isn't. Checking this battery out, checking the terminal, no corrosion. This battery and terminal, no corrosion. I'm going to check the fluid levels. Got the fluid level here, and that's the brake fluid, and that looks fine. I'm going to check the power steering fluid. Here we go, and it is wonderful. Also supposed to check it for color, sm smell, and clarity. Um, also, the next thing is going to be the radiator fluid, and that looks good. The engine oil, and just checking that, and that's wonderful. And uh, also, we're going to do the transmission. I know that they said that you don't have to start it up, so we'd be checking the transmission and dealing with that. Checking the hoses, any frays, cuts, or leakage. And I don't see anything like that, everything looks good. And then checking the belt, and it's a serpentine belt, self-tightener, and there's no frays, cuts, or missing teeth on there. And that's it for the front end. So we'll close that up. Next, so next I have to show you that the seat belts work, so I've tightened them all in already. So seat belt one works, seat belt two works, seat belt three is working. Here are my emergency uh, items needed if there's a problem. Put that down, come to the front. Driver's seat belt is working, and passenger seat belt is working. Driver's seat is adjusted. Looking at the windows, the back window, side windows, there's no cracks, it's clean and uh, easy to see through. The main window, windshield, no cracks and it's clean, it's all good. Uh, drivers and passengers windows are crack, not cracked, they're clean and it's all good. Want to make sure that they move up and down. So yes they are working, moving up and down. and back ones are moving up and down. Want to make sure the cockpit is clean, and it is. And I uh, also want to ensure that I have my owners and uh, insurance. So for the RV, yes, and the date is January 16, and uh, the truck is September 16, or 15. So that's all fine. Got in there. And now. <laughs> now we're gonna start it up. We're gonna check for play in the wheel, and that's all fine. Looking at the gauges, all the gauges are working. So there's oil pressure is good. The uh, temperature is good. The fuel, I've got plenty of fuel and it's charging. Checking for any uh, warning lights and that's all fine. Uh, now we're gonna turn those lights on on the gauges to make sure they're all working likewise and they are. We're gonna check the uh, windshield wiper, wiper and make sure that the washer works. And there she works. And then check we have the flashers going, it works. It honks. I'm going to have to check the de uh, defrost. And the defrost is on. And the fan is blowing. Also with the heater, check the heater. The heater is on and the fan is blowing. Check the interior lights. Interior lights on and all is good. And so now we're going to do our light check. I've left the um, uh, emergency lights on and we're just going to make sure everything is working. So, checking these lights, clean, clear, no cracks, they're on. This side, clean, clear, no cracks and they're on. Checking this mirror, it is flashing. Checking the back side, clean, clear, no cracks, it is flashing. Checking the upper part of the clearance lights, they're on, clean, clear, no cracks. Good. Clean, clear, and no cracks. And this one is on too. Clean, clear, no cracks. Looking at the top part of the clearance lights. Clean, clear, no cracks. Here we've got the signals going and the signals going here for the emergency lights. Clean, clear, no cracks. The license plate is secure and the light is on. On this side, we've got the uh, lights again. Clean, clear, no cracks. And this one is on. Clean, clear, and no cracks. Reflector, but this one is on. Clean, clear, no cracks. That one up there is 
clean, clear, and no cracks. This side here, it is flashing, clean, clear, no cracks. The license plate is secure, and the lights are on it. This side, flashing, looks good. Clean, clear, no cracks. We've done the front end. Now we'll go back to the balance of the light check. We're gonna do low beams first and signaling to the left. So, low beams are on. Clean, clear, no cracks. Signal is on. Signal is on the mirror. And signal is on the back side. And signal is on the trailer. So let's go back and put the high beams on now. High beams are on. And we're going to do this all over again. Okay. High beams are on both sides. Clean, clear, no crap. This signal is on. So that's great. We're going to go this way again. And I can see here that the lights are on, clean, clear, and no crap. This light is signaling, clean, clear, no crap. This light is on, and we check these are ready. So that's it for our light check. We're going to turn the engine off now, and uh, it is in park. It has the emergency brake on, and the wheels are chalked. Mechanical circle check. First off, looking at the truck itself, driver's side, is there any damage to the body that I see is no. Any damage to the front end that I see is no. Got to turn these lights off. And uh, so any damage to the back end that I see, and that's no. I'm going to check the basics of the box. So the uh, hitch is in place, locked in. It's in the forward motion. I see the hitch pins are locked in and the box is clean. The, there's no cable phrase, and uh, the, the cable is actually hooked up. I just took that off. And uh, that's the emergency cable for the brake. The back side also is the electrical cable. Electrical cable is plugged in, no cracks, frays. The rear pins to the uh, fifth wheel are in. The claw is, is around the fifth wheel pin, and that's good. Tailgate is secure. Bumper is secure, hitch is secure. Next, we're going to go to take a look at the uh, doors. The doors open and they close. Mirror is secure and the gas tank is good. So we're going to go check underneath now and see what there is to see. I brought this dolly along to speed things up. I can see the steering tie rods, all looks good. Uh, I can see the wheel from this side, there's no bends or cracks. And the tire itself has no separation and it looks like it has good even wear. On the front side, the tire has no separation, no frayed cords. Again, even tread. Checking for listening for anything coming out of this valve stem, air-wise, and it should be torqued down these wheels. But you don't have to do that on the test. Mud flap is secure. There's no bends or cracks in this wheel. Next, underneath. Checking the torsion bar, no bends, no cracks. Looking at the drive shaft and uh, giving it a little turn actually, and that looks good. Looking at the motor mounts and the transmission mount. Checking the frame for any rust or cracks. Uh, checking the drive shaft and there's no clay. Checking the frame. Checking the frame, coming underneath. Now I'm checking the springs. If there's no cracked springs and I don't see anything. Checking for oil leaks on the rear end. There's nothing there. There's no bends or cracks that I can see visible in that rear end and that the U-bolts are all tight. This side of the wheel, there's no cracks or no uh, brakes in it, no bends. And the wheel, the tire itself has no uh, separation from this side. Mud flap is not touching the tire and it's secure and so is this one. Looks like even tread. Uh, there's no separation here. The wheel is in good shape. No cracks or bends. And these would be torqued and the air would be checked. 
Uh, continuing on the back side, rear tire is secure, back of the springs, no cracks, and the, again, the uh, shocks and the uh, new bolts are tight. Back of the frame, looks good, no cracks. Back of the truck, bumper is secure, all is fine.